Hey Apple, we need to talk about the App Store. The relationship, it's gotten away from us. I mean, it started off so good. You were amazing. I remember some of the early days. I remember how Steve Jobs introduced us to you. This is the best deal going to distribute applications to mobile platforms. Now, we talk about the 70-30 revenue split, but the developer gets to pick the price. And you know what price a lot of developers are gonna pick? Free, right? So when a developer wants to distribute their app for free, there is no charge for free apps at all. There's no charge to the user. And there's no charge to the developer. We're going to pay for everything to get those apps out there for free. The developer and us have the same exact interest, which is to get as many apps out in front of as many iPhone users as possible. And the promise was amazing. You would let us developers who had no platform, no exposure, no way to sell our products be on your platform for the very first time. It was an amazing time to be an app developer and I owe so much to you. But things have changed and the App Store has changed. And in the early days, it was amazing. You would allow us exposure and visibility and you ran commercials about us app developers and how we could bring products to the market. But as the App Store grew, the app review process started to take hold and you started to clamp down on how app developers could and couldn't use the apps. Now, some of the app review process was great. You enforced UI guidelines. You enforced applications to think about online and offline. And some of these things were really good. But you also started to clamp down on certain businesses. And at first, it was just magazines. It was just newspapers. And that was okay. Or maybe I thought it was okay, but I didn't realize that you started clamping down on more. And as the App Store grew, the App Store review process started to clamp down more and more on applications of all sorts. At first, it was just game developers. Okay, magazines and game developers. Sure, they pay the 30% Apple tax, but not all the other businesses. But over time, that relationship has strained and strained. And... Netflix and Dropbox and Audible and Amazon and many other large companies have fought Apple in its app review process. The most recent Hey Email application is just a recent application of a small business really trying to use the platform to get in front of a large audience and being shut down by Apple. But this has been going on for many years. Apple, it's time to reassess the relationship of the App Store. 30% made a lot of sense when the platform was brand new, when no one was on it, when it was an opportunity for app developers to join you in a new adventure. But now that model is different. The App Store is a duopoly. Apple and Google dominate the ecosystem and it's impossible for a digital business that's truly digital or mobile first to be out there without an app in the App Store. So does it make sense for you to be charging digital apps and digital businesses 30% across the entire board? The App Store has made Apple into a trillion dollar business, but as developers look at the app ecosystem and Apple reflects on its relationship with developers, it really needs to reassess what that relationship looks like. Next week is Apple's WWDC conference, an annual conference where the world's best developers come together to see what Apple is going to unveil. In the early days, DubDub was one of the most important conferences for app developers to be at because it gave them access to Apple and the relationship with developers. Most recently, that relationship has strained. And just days before DubDub, Apple sends this email to the Hey founder and CEO. Apple doesn't really value the relationship it has with developers the way it did before. And it's time that Apple get back to the roots it had with developers. Developers make the platform. If it wasn't for the apps on the app stores and even the free apps on the app stores, the app ecosystem and Apple would be nothing in terms of what it is today. Apple needs developers and developers need Apple. The relationship has to be symbiotic and Apple should really reassess that relationship. It shouldn't be strong arming developers to use Apple Pay and in-app purchase. It should be winning on the merits of these platforms. If Apple Pay and in-app purchase is so great, developers should choose to adopt it as opposed to being strong armed to use it. 
You know, Apple has long time prided itself in being a brand that stands for the rebels, the misfits, the creators, the inventors. And at this point, it's really separating itself from the developer community. It's time for Apple to re-examine the relationship with developers and get back to making things that are insanely great. I'm Greg Reyes. Thanks so much.